Okay, today we're in Tainan, and we're going to visit the uh, Confucius Temple in the rain, unfortunately. But there is uh, plenty of dry places in there to enjoy the video, or to enjoy the temple. That is the entrance to Confucius Tunnel, or Confucius Temple. Okay. Here we are looking inside the entrance to Confucius Temple. This is the Confucius Temple of Taiwan. And I'm kind of looking, since it's still raining, kind of looking for a path here that may be sheltered. Well, this is the famous Confucius Temple being renovated, it's under construction. Oldest. <laughs> it's the oldest what? Temple. The oldest temple in what? Tai Tai Tainan? Tainan. All right, Cindy, go ahead and read it. Okay, Confucius Temple. The first Confucius Temple in Taiwan was built by Governor Cheng Yu Tua. What year? Doesn't say. There's Cindy sitting over there, staying out of the rain. Rains that up a little bit, but it's still, still, still a little bit too hard to walk to walk around in. Without an umbrella, anyway. I think that's another room over there, yeah. I guess that's a Liberty Bell. That's to the city shrine. That's probably another bell. You gotta watch these steps here. I understand the purpose of these steps is to keep ghosts from going in and out of the rooms. Some antique instruments, I guess. Some flutes. I don't know what that is. Some kind of trumpet. Oh, this is a lute. No, it's a Shang Ching. Musical instrument with a Hexagonal resonator made of wood with four strings. Now that's hanging on the wall. The mandolin, the lute, is the one hanging on the wall here. And this down below is a uh, 25 string plucked instrument, somewhat similar to the zither, a symbol of controlling rage and design, desire in order to achieve ideal virtue. Okay, this uh, placard here is to proclamate the beginning of the three-day vegetarian diet proceeding up to the sacrificial ceremony date. This is a Teo drum, an ancient musical instrument, a kind of drum used by peddlers to start the music playing. Then they get the ying drum, an ancient musical instrument used during the Confucius sacrificial ceremony. Then we get the ying drum. The Chinese term ying means pillar with a cross-shaped base, ancient musical instrument put in front of great achievement palace and used during the Confucius sacrificial ceremony. Then we got the fu drum. It's an ancient musical instrument made of leather, a two-sided drum with chaff inserted, slapped by hand for keeping rhythm. So this is uh, Bayan King and, and Bayan Zhong, an ancient Chinese musical instrument consisting of a set of L-shaped flat stone chimes playing methodically. The chimes were hung on a wooden frame and struck with a mallet along with the bronze bells called Bian Shong. They were an important instrument in China's ritual and 
court music going back to the Zhao dynasty. This here is a yu, a wooden made ancient musical instrument in the shape of a tiger with 27 teeth on the back. The musician hits the, his head three times first and then brushes the teeth with the, on the back three times at the end of an orchestra. And over here is a zoo, a wooden instrument ancient musical instrument in the shape of a container without a cover, a wide upper part and a narrow bottom, which is played at the start of an orchestra by three strikes. This is a mandarin duck and kailin used to support the stand of the bian king, bian ching. This is zu yu, a tiger shaped animal used as a decoration on the four corners of the great achievement door of the Confucius Temple. Legend has it that this animal symbolizes honor and virtue. And this is a figure placed on the eaves of the ancient achievement palace as tutelary gods. And This thing, what am I looking at here? Okay. This is the Chi Wen, a young and homeless dragon with a fish tail placed on the highest point of a palace or house to symbolize keeping watch. It's also associated with water so it can ward off fire. And this is the uh, Tong Tian tube. The tube is placed on the roof of a Confucius temple to symbolize Confucius virtue also named tube for hiding books. Legend has it that such tubes protected Confucius books from being burned by Emperor Qin Shi Hung. And what do we got over here if I can read this? This is the uh, Chu Hu flower, meaning flower. A, is a mortise and tendon joint the tip is carved into a lotus flower shape. This is a U. They're a sacrificial implement dancers would hold in their left hand when performing the Confucius sacrificial ceremony. And the die is another sacrificial instrument with pleasant feathers tied on a dragon head decorated wooden stick. The dancers hold this in their right hand when dancing in the Confucius sacrificial ceremony. You can bring incense here. I guess these are ancient instruments, lutes. Flutes. Drums, I don't know what there's on the bottom shelf. I see a duck head. That must be Confucius. I love his hat. Almost looks like a western hat, but it's got it's not a berm. Stone sensor. These were ceremonial dancers. In ancient times, scholars who passed the imperial examination could serve as ceremonial dancers. Today, this role is served by the students 
of John Yi Elementary School next to the Tainan Confucius Temple. The members of the Yi Chen College serve as the ceremonials, dressed in a short coat with white lining and black shoes. The officiants dress, the incumbent government officials and educators serve as the officiants for the sacrificial ceremony, dressed in a long blue gown, black coat, and black shoes. This is an incense burner. This is a stone censer, remnant of Chu's shrine. There we come out the back side of the Confucius Temple. And this nice little uh, garden area here. And we're going to see the Wu Di Temple. Think about the Wu Di Temple. But it's a nice big uh, building that everybody else is taking pictures of. Anyways, uh, if you like this, hit the like button. And uh, hit the subscribe button so you can be informed of, uh, of other videos that come out. And make sure you hit the bell so you get notified. Thanks. We'll talk to you later.